So we've got 15.21 from the homework, right? They tell us they've got 0 0.50 molar peruvic acid. And they tell us the pH of that solution is 1.65. And then they ask, right, the Ka for that, for this weak monoprotic acid. So very, very similar to the question that we did in class. All right, the question we did in class, we had a concentration, we had a pH, and then we had to find um, the Ka based on that. And we start because right, Ka is the concentration of hydronium times the concentration of the conjugate base all over the concentration of my acid. Um, right now, we only know HA, right? 0.5 molar, um, we can find my hydronium concentration from pH because we know hydronium concentration equals 10 to the negative pH. So we can find hydronium concentration. All right, that's going to be 10 to the negative 1.65. My numbers might be different than your numbers, but the steps would be the same. All right, so 10 to the negative. 1.65, and I get a hydronium concentration of 2.238 times 10 to the minus two molar. That concentration is also the concentration of the conjugate base because for every peruvic acid that ionizes, we're gonna get one peruvate conjugate base and one hydronium um, as well. So, that's gonna be the same concentration. So now we can find Ka. Ka equals that 2.238 times 10 to the minus two times 2.238, 10 to the minus two, all over our initial concentration, 0.5. Remember all these weak acids, yes, some of this ionizes, some of this ionizes, but we can, we're safe in assuming that our initial concentration is going to be very close to our equilibrium concentration. Um, so we don't have to worry about subtracting an, an amount of X there. So I'm going to square that, divide that by 0.5, and I get a Ka of about 1.0 times 10 to the minus 3 for peruvic acid. Definitely see a question like this on the exam. I'll give you concentration. I'll give you pH. We need to know, okay, from pH, I can get hydronium. When I find hydronium, that's also the concentration of the conjugate base because they're going to be formed in the same ratio. And now, now I have everything that I need to find the Ka uh, for that acid.